so here is our basic setup so as you can see in the diagram the print server is connected directly to the router and the other ends are connected to a parallel port dot matrix epson printer and uh, a usb port hp laser jet printer and other pieces in the network are connected to the router also so here is the complete setup diagram and uh, not a diagram this is a picture of the uh, of the print server and the parallel port and the usb ports connected so what we do first is uh, insert the installation disk which comes along with the package and install the ps link software which we will need for installing some of the printers so it's a normal installation process the, just proceed with the installation step by step and the application will be installed shortly so after completing the installation we'll open the ps link software and see what it contains our first step will be changing the ip address of the <coughs> of, of the print server so, so click on change ip address and we'll make it a give it a static ip 0 0.10 suppose then click on ok we have successfully changed the ip address and then we can browse through the ports to see which printers are detected and which are not so in the port one that is the usb port we have attached the par uh, usb port pre printer there is the hp laser jet it's detected but this software is not able to detect the parallel port printers see uh, when we move on to port 3 the parallel port not supported parallel port so we will just move uh, then through the web interface we can move on to 192.168.0.10 and give the default password as admin and then we have to download a piece of software or application which we will use to install the print server service in our system so click on ok and run the application and then select the Epson printer Epson is uh, installed in XP the drivers are there so just click on next and the Epson printer will be network printer will be now installed in your Windows XP system and you don't need to add any extra drivers since Windows XP comes with that version of the printer pre-installed so click hit refresh and you can see the Epson printer is there in your printers and faxes list so Epson printer is set up successfully now we'll print a test page and then move on to configuring the HP printer we'll click on link and it will link up the HP laser jet printer which is attached to the USB port that is the port 1 of the print server since we do not have the drivers of the HP laser jet installed in our Windows XP PC we need to install the drivers separately so as you can see the driver installation wizard pops up but we don't have the driver uh, executable file so we'll download it from the HP uh, website or the CD which comes with the printer and then proceed with the installation so here we download the uh, installation package for the HP printer driver and begin to install it click on run uh, then so it has finished installing and then we'll click next and it will automatically detect the installed drivers and will perform the setup of the HP laser jet printer the HP printer is set up successfully too and here again in the printers and faxes list we have the HP laser jet printer we can rename the printer uh, if we want and that's it delete any other existing printers or drivers in your system to avoid any problems 
and now we can print the test page to see if it works properly or not yeah you cannot see in the video but the test page is being printed on the hp laser jet and the epson printer both and thus we have configured the print server successfully in our network now let us browse through some of the printers web interface options and if you move on to the advanced tab or the status tab the status tab shows which printers are connected to the what ports their speed and other technical details etc so in the advanced LAN option we will provide the DNS server IP address any uh, for the internet printing support and the workgroup name which is optional and then we can move on to the SNMP and you know the email settings for some advanced settings which you don't need here right now and thus we have configured our dealing print server to work with both parallel port and USB port printers thanks for watching this video